Hi and welcome back to another video. We're just walking around in Computex and checking if there's more interesting things. And we just stopped by RAM Center. It's a very small booth on the side, but I spotted that they have equipment for memory testing, individual IC testing, and also SPD flashing. And I thought we'd just stop by and uh, just check out their equipment because I thought not everybody maybe knows how memory sorting is done. So we check out their equipment. We have multiple different test platforms right here. We will start with the one on the left, which is currently testing uh, multiple different DDR5 ICs for sorting. So you can see that's the test speed, 7200 mega transfers. And on this module, I will show you this one uh, in a second uh, by itself. They can test the individual memory ICs for that specific memory speed. Once this is still cycling through on the size, the testing procedure is still running. Same as with here, but here it's not the individual uh, IC sorting, it's just testing the entire module at the specific speed, in this case 5600. If you move over here, it's DDR4, but it's the same principle. Once it looks like that, the procedure is done and they can check the result on the screen. On the left, I will also show you that in a second. And then determine which kind of IC passed or failed a specific speed test. And again, here, that's how it looks when testing a DDR4 module for 3200. This is the module for the individual IC sorting. That is what I just showed you over here. You can place eight individual ICs in here. And the way it works is also quite interesting because there is like a piece of plastic that pushes the IC downwards. And in here, you have a conductive rubber. Because I thought, okay, how is this making electrical contact? But they told me that it's uh, the same kind of quality as soldering the IC to the PCB. And then afterwards, they just plug it in and use this software, which is running different test patterns. That is what you can see here. Uh, 17 tests in total, or 18. And whenever something goes wrong, so that those are different types of tests. And uh, all of the eight ICs have to pass, pass all those 18 tests. In between, it might be that some of the ICs cannot maintain the speed, for example, the 7200. And in that case, let's say IC number four fails, then they have to go back to the sorting module, would be this one, for example, take out this IC, put another one in and put the entire module back until they find a full set of eight pieces that is validated and passing the speed, for example, in this case, 7200. One thing I forgot about is that you have those different plastic inserts because there are ICs for DDR5 available in different sizes. This one is for 9.5 by 11 millimeters. You can just take this out and replace it with a different one if you have a different IC you want to test. And underneath, again, you can see the electrically conductive rubber. Once you're done with IC sorting, you could turn this into a module like that. But there could be electrical problems such as failure of connection to an individual IC. So you could plug this into a PC and it doesn't boot up. And if you have that kind of case, you might want to find out what the actual problem is. And to demonstrate that, they have a module here where an entire IC is missing and we use that to demonstrate it. So you plug it in here. And then you start testing. Then in the software over here, you can see uh, the black dots in the center. You can see IC4, in this case, obviously, is not detected. But if there would be a problem with the soldering joint, for example, you would also see it on here. There is another PCB that you can then use to indicate and check where a short is on a specific uh, module. So it was first tested on here. Then they figured out, OK, there is a problem. And you can plug it in here, and this way, indicate that exactly on this position on the module or on the IC there is a short on this module and then it can go back to R&D and be reworked. At the end, once you're done with IC sorting, you want to turn this into your memory module. Orca, for example, that is their own brand and you have to program the memory stick with the SPD information. So that contains voltage, manufacturer, um, timings, speed that you just determined during the IC sorting and that's what you want to program onto the SPD. For that, you can simply plug it into one of those boards. In that case, it's uh, SODIM and then press this button, which starts the flashing process over the notebook where you can see the SPD software that contains all the information that is running through this device and then onto the PCB, which is, yeah, flashing the data onto the, onto the module. It's the same for SODIM or, for example, the UDIM that you might be more familiar with from your normal system. And then in the end, once it's done, once it passes, 
you have your final memory module ready to go, ready for sale. Um, I think that was quite interesting. A small booth on the side. Uh, thank you very much uh, to the vendor that we were allowed to film here. I hope you also enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye bye.